Okay, welcome to the third video of ICT application course. And today we'll be looking at application in manufacturing industries. And this will be the third video um, in that. Okay, talking about computer controlled um, system. Now, in application uh, in manufacturing industries, we'll be looking at um, robots. Yes. And I'm very sure we all know or have an idea of what robots um, are all about, okay? Um, robots are used in manufacturing to help um, to improve um, productivity, um, consistency in terms of um, the final finish, and to reduce overall running cost. Okay, robots generally make the factory a much more safer environment for workers. Okay, um, now we'll be looking at um, um, how are robots used in the factory. Well, they lift heavy weights, buy heavy items, um, assemble parts together, paint items, spray, manufacture microchips, and likes of that. Okay. Robots are programmed with a sequence of instructions and the programmers will guide the robots to a step physically or by controlling the robots by remotes. In fact, they're used, when we look at robots, um, they're using um, areas of manufacturing from heavy work right to delegate operations, okay? Car bodies, wedding body work, manufacturing of microchips and the likes. You know, of, of that, okay, and um, uh, manufacturing of even electric, uh, electrical goods and um, stock movement and the likes of that, you know. Control of robot is either through embedded, that you're talking about the microprocessor, or um, limited to a computer system. And programming of robots um, to do a series of tasks is generally done in two ways, okay. So it's important that we know that how we program the robots to do a series of tasks. Um, um, it's done in two ways, okay? The robot is programmed with a sequence of instructions, okay, which allow you to carry out the series of tasks that are programmed with. Um, alternatively, a human operator manually carries out the series of tasks. This can be done in, in two ways. So the, the robot arm is guided by the worker when spraying the objects, and each movement of the arm is controlled. And the instruction of the computer, or the worker wrap sensors to his own arm and spray the object, and each movement is stored in a set of uh, instructions in a computer. You know, um, so these are the various ways in which that can be done. So, what are the advantages of in using robots? They can work in an environment that's harmful to human operators because they are not humans, they are machines, so they can adapt to any environment. Um, they can work non-stop, they are less expensive in the long term, although it's expensive to buy initially, okay? Um, and you don't need to pay them wages. They have higher productivity, there's no need of holidays, and likes of that. They produce or provide greater consistency, okay? And they can do boring and repetitive tasks, leaving humans free to do um, other more skilled work, okay? They carry out different tasks by lifting them with different end um, attachments. For example, a spray gun, a wedding gun, and, you know, wedding gun, and so on. Just heavy metals, they help in that, okay? And now we see here that um, exact sequence of movement is stored in the memory. When these robots are programmed with a sequence of instructions, this exact sequence of movement is stored in memory and the robot is not able to carry out the same sequence of instructions over and over and over and over and over again, okay? And that's just what we're talking about, okay? Um, let's look at disadvantages. Okay, and here you see that uh, Productivity is higher since they don't need holidays. We've talked about that. There's greater consistency and they can do boring and repetitive tasks. We've talked about that. Now, for disadvantages, um, 
Um, now, robots find it difficult. They find it difficult to do unusual tasks. For example, one of Glaway for a chemical company. Uh, so they find it difficult to do unusual tasks. When they're not being programmed to do that task, it's not going to be easy for them to do because they don't know what they're doing. Okay? Um, they can cause higher unemployment. That is replacing skilled laborers. Okay? And because robots can do many of the tasks, uh, once done by human, there's a real risk of certain skills such as we didn't be lost and the likes of that. Robots are independent of the skill base. Factories can be moved anywhere in the world. Uh, again, causing unemployment. Of course, initial setup and maintenance can be very expensive. Okay, that is um, which is not very easy because the initial setup and maintenance of this can be very expensive. Um, we'll be looking at this. One last part before we close this video. Production line control. Now, um, production line control using robots in producing, in making production. Um, they are using industries, okay? For example, filling bottles with a liquid, capping the bottles, applying the label, all this can be done by a robot because uh, they can be programmed to just do this, okay? Filling metal cans with baked beans, Okay, sealing the can and applying labels can also be done with robot. Not all we'll talk about the production line control. Now, production line control can be um, somewhat continuous with various various robots at each station given a specific task. Okay, now using these robots in this way leads to faster operations. You know, the numbers of cans of big bins can be filled. Um, in 120 per minute because it's just fast, you know, it's doing it bah, 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 it's very fast and it's doing it. And there, there's much greater productivity, right? The production can run 24 hours a day for every day, okay? There's greater consistency. Um, that is every um, can, talking about uh, production of um, big bases in cans, um, exactly the same weight of big beans, okay? So, easy big beans as the case. Study okay, beauty quality control that's automatic testing for foreign materials such as metal filling, which result in automatic rejection for the production line, reduce cost to the cost to the customer consumer to the reduced cost to the consumer. Um, of course, initial robot arms are expensive, but over time, we see that this becomes easier. Now, let's um take a final spiel. Let's look at a, a closer view of how robots could be used in the plant. Okay, the sensor one, that's um, the pressure sensor, the light sensors on the camera detect the presence of a bottle. And the sensor is currently sending back to the computer when the sensors from the sensor one indicate a bottle is present. Okay, the computer sends a signal to the actuator and these actuators are your output, okay, which opens a valve allowing liquid to flow in. To the bottom. The sensor 2, which is a level sensor, is used to detect the current liquid heart in the bottom. Okay, the sensors will send continuous signals back to the computer. Now, if you see this diagram, you see that this is what I'm talking about. So, um, this is going when it gets to this point, the sensor 2, which is the verb, um, plugs this in okay and fills it and this moves it comes like that it comes like that that's just what we simply mean so this is a pressure and light sensor and what it detects that there's a bottle right it says to the computer and that it detects that the bottle is present now this sensor too which is a level sensor right is used to detect the current liquid height in the bottle so that's what we are talking about okay and it says computer back so it puts it and gives exactly that number of um, liquid in that bottle. Okay, so when the signal from sensor indicate the bottle is full, the computer the computer sends a signal to the actuator to close the valve. That's it. That 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 works. So from the signal from the sensor two, when the bottle is full, it's filled up. The computer will now send a signal to the actuator, which is the output to say, okay, you know what?
close, close, close. The computer then sells that sit down to the second actuator, which operates a motor to move the belt to allow the next empty bottles to take their correct position. And the whole process is continuous till until it, it stops, all of the other bottles are all filled up, and of course, or there's an error or whatever, and or maintenance as the case may be. Okay. So thank you so much for staying with me. Um, thank you for this video and see you in the next video. Okay.